go live. Hello guys, hello, hello, and welcome to part 21, I think? 20? God, my title is so long, so I cannot see the entire title. Uh, but I want to say it's episode 21, or maybe 22. And we're gonna deal with the gym this time. And I think my level cap was 51. Well, I know, no, it was 51, yes. And we're gonna be up against a bunch of dragons, so... I actually think it's gonna be relatively easy. Because of, we have Duplin that becomes a fairy type. Um, and then, you know, Brandon. With what Brandon does. Even P.Dotness, if they don't have, you know, like, let's say a fire coverage, or maybe like a flying type, then P.Dotness will destroy. So I actually feel like we're in a pretty good position right here and well I will say <clears throat> the new I watched episode one of Pokemon Horizon like the new Pokemon show you know with no ash and it was really good like a seven out of nine and it's kind of like man thank god ash is gone okay so his Dragonair could not hit p.ness Um, so, yeah, I would recommend the new Pokemon show. Let's see, okay, well that didn't do a lot, but... And I didn't check. What move did he use? <laughs> okay, I didn't think about Gyarados. Maybe Gyarados is actually part dragon. It's like water dragon. Yeah, but let's throw in Duplin. Um, okay, Crunch. Okay. Well, that's fine. We got just going to uh, Mega Evolve and then use Dazzling Gleam and kill. Uh, because one thing I really like is Aliko, which is the new main character. She's not a Ash clone. I was a bit afraid that what they were going to do is that they were just going to do a like, female Ash. She's not. She's her own character. Um, which is really nice. Uh, and that kind of shows me that Gyarados is not part of Dragon. It is still water flying. <coughs> yeah, the Dragon Death Hurricane combo. So if you haven't watched Pokemon in a while, I would actually recommend the new Pokemon because it's completely new. You don't, well, I mean there is no baggage of Ash. So, I would recommend it. Man, that's pretty much all. I'm trying to think, like, there are, there are things, other things you could say, but I really don't want to spoil it, because I really do think, like, you should go into it blind. Because <coughs> it does seem a bit more mature. Like, it doesn't really feel like it's like a, like, for six-year-olds. I would say it's more like a young teenage show. Is what I would classify it as. If I were like a authoritarian censor, I would classify it as that. <coughs> okay, it seems like all of them have Gyaradoses. Uh, for some reason. Um. I mean, Lazul, 
Let's see how Lazoo deals with a Gyarados. I mean, it cannot be that bad, right? Because Lazoo should take. Oh no, a defense draw. Well, that's not good. Well, actually, Brutal Swing and Wing Attack should be. Like, they should have the same amount of damage. <clears throat> oh, n there wasn't. Okay, well, he was plus one attack, and we were plus minus one defense. So okay, I I did I didn't think about the my, the defense uh, decrease. Uh, so I'm like, okay, that's understandable. All right, and he's. Just dragon dancing up. Oh no. Well, Zukaton is is not surviving that. I don't think the crit mattered. Like it is a bit of a punch in the face, but I do not believe it mattered. Because, I mean, you would think that they would have other Pokemon than a Gyarados as their secondary. Because, I mean, there should be a decent, question mark, amount of dragons that they can use. Like, for example, you can use Vibrava, his second Pokemon, like Cedra and Vibrava, you know. If they don't want to give them, like, a fully evolved, like, pure dragon. They have that choice, or that option, I guess. How come my Dragon Pokemon could, couldn't could do a thing? Is what I think you were meant to say. Uh, where's my... Max Revives. Wait, I don't have any Max Revives? Okay, wait. Oh no, there they are. I'm just blind. Hopefully the audio levels are fine. They are not too loud or too quiet or something. Uh, I mean, I haven't changed them since last time and they were fine last time, so... Okay, and you don't have to do the gym puzzle. They've changed it, so it isn't like you... I like that. It's just pure battling. <coughs> Alright, the Charizard. That is a problem for, for P.Ness. We don't really have a clean switch in, so... Just Shadow Snake. Flame burst, okay. <coughs> Not the strongest fire type attack. Um I think Zukatan is actually what we want here. Uh, because we want to put you to sleep. Okay, we have that fire berry, so we might survive this. Oh, we took that very well. Even without the fire berry, we would have survived. <coughs> so let's get one. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just gonna go for one quiver dance. Um, I'm not gonna get too greedy. Oh, she decided to switch. I was thinking like, ah, this person, I'm not gonna allow you to get 
like more boosts. Well, let me just put this to sleep as well. And this is the danger with Zucaton, because now I'm pretty confident going for a Quiver Dance. A second Quiver Dance. Oh god, I fucked up. Should not have gone for the second Quiver Dance. Oh, but we survived, so... As long as you survive, it's fine to go for a second Quiver Dance. And actually, it probably was the best. Because if I didn't go for a second Quiver Dance, we would have died. Yeah, and... Shadow Ball still wouldn't have killed. So, I mean, in theory... With me going for the second Quiver Dance that there, actually... Got us the most damage. Uh, so, go Lazul, and... If you had Sword Stance, that would be good. I would have, I would have used it right now. <coughs> oh. Oh no. All right, just Bullet Punch. Would have wanted to use a U-turn. Get someone else in against this char- oh god. Well, I haven't been very lucky with the amount of sleep turns. Because they haven't spent a lot of time asleep. Um, I mean, I think... Let's go bra- well, I could actually gone to plane and gone for the light screen. Uh, but... Yeah, just shadow punch. All right, good. So fire, oh, we have another Oka Berry on you. So this shard start has juiced up a lot of our Oka Berries, two of them. <coughs> Poison Fang, and eh, no. Because you're a special attacker. A poison thing is an interesting, like, poison, um, physical poison type attack. Uh, because when it poisons, it, it makes toxic poison. Uh, not normal poison, like Sludge Bomb, for example, does. Um, and like most poison types attack. They're like secondary effects if they poison you. It's like le regular poison. Uh, but not with Poison Fang. Wait, how many have I left? Okay, I have eight. Uh, that's fine. Don't really need to think about it then. Oh, we're gonna have a double battle right here. And in the double battle, you know, Zucaton and... Kitty. Sure. Now we're going to go for the double sleep powder into the double quiver dance. That is my plan. Joanne and Cory. Alright, sleep powder. Yeah, bite. A sleep powder shell gun. <coughs> so we managed to put both of them asleep. But oh, we did it. Okay. Did we miss? Oh, Jesus. Uh, well. Kitty, you can then go for Sleep Powder and Shell Gun. And you just Quiver Dance. Do you want to go for... Yeah, no, we want you to Quiver Dance. Because these are level 50. Well, I guess Shell Gun is level 50. I can't actually see. 
its level. Ah, oh, and they woke up on the first turn, or the second, I guess, technically. I mean, just throwing in Duplin would be the smart choice, because Duplin can just, you know, dazzling gleam, but... Okay, Brutal Swing hits all of us, so even Zookaton. Uh, so let's just bullet punch shell gun instead. Because <coughs> I'm guessing <coughs> this shell gun probably has fire fang, is my guess. Or flamethrower, Jesus. Well, this plan I had of using Quiver Dance isn't really working for me. <laughs> um... <coughs> because they're not spending enough time sleeping. They're only. They're not spending one turn, you know. They're just spending. Well, I guess they're spending only one turn asleep. Like the turn I put them to sleep. Uh, let's see. Oh, you only had one. Uh, okay, I thought you had three Pokemon. Yeah, if I knew you only had one Pokemon, I wouldn't have gone through this whole put to sleep and then. God damn it. Ugh. Fuck off. Alright, well, no. Well, since we are faster, I guess just Quiver Dance and then Lazul. You can switch to P.Ness. <coughs> and then just Shadow Ball. And you Phantom Force. There we go. In case this guy has more than one Pokemon. Growth. I mean, you increase attack. Oh no, you only increase special attack in this. Okay. I mean, that's good, but... I don't know. It's good early on. Just getting plus one in a stat. But in this case right here, if you're gonna spend one turn, you want to get at least two plus two stages. <coughs> and let's just get everyone up to level 50. Uh, my level cap is 51. I think level 50 is fine. And then I'm gonna turn on off. Double hits. That could be good. Yeah, since you have technician, it. Ah, uh, no, actually. I still think it probably isn't the best. Iron Head. It's a good move, but <coughs> it doesn't get boosted by Technician. And I value getting the Technician boost. <coughs> okay, what is my plan here? Let's see, Duplin. Should I just start with Duplin and try and sweep? I have a feeling that they're gonna have something to deal with fairies. So, I think I would want to experience that first uh, before. 
Uh, so let's see. Maybe we'll just start off with Zuka Toon. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm starting off with Zuka Toon. And then we're gonna try and just boost up. And I forgot, wait. Uh, F1, yes. Forgot to turn off the experience share. There we go. And now we save. Well, I guess we can just save right in front of her. No need to, you know, um, have to take those three steps all the time. I like your stance. Okay, she start off with a dragon air. That's good for me, because we're gonna sleep powder. Damn, okay. And your Dragoner might have Shed Skin. Or a Lumberry, maybe. Okay, a Lumberry. Huh. <coughs> ah, damn. Okay, Dragon Tail, I guess. Yeah. Because it went after me. Okay, into Duplin. Uh, not what I want, because I don't want Duplin to get paralyzed, but let's Mega and Dazzle Gleam. See if, how much this does. Maybe Duplin can one shot. Maybe. He was sitting on the grassy surge. <coughs> hmm. Alright. I don't know, I was expecting maybe the plean would be faster. Uh, I don't know why, because I think Zukatan is faster than the plean. So I guess the smart thing would have been to switch back into Zukatan and then basically let Zukatan die. Uh. What are you gonna do? Do we wanna set up a light screen here? To potentially like help other Pokemon. No. <coughs> ah, Tailwind. That is dangerous. Even though her all of her Pokemon probably outspeeds all of mine. <coughs> okay, leftovers. But well, that's good. Can allow me to get a light screen off. And we're pretty lucky with the paraly Paralyzed at the moment. So... <coughs> I mean, as long as you don't get fully paralyzed, being paralyzed isn't, isn't the worst. Especially for Pokemon like Duplin, that is not the fastest to begin with. So having your, you know, speed cut in half, oh well. Oh, and their tailwind got removed. That didn't last that long. Has it, all, has it been five turns since they used tailwind? Oh yeah, I think they started Tailwind. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe Tailwind doesn't last five turns. Here comes Kingdra. Hmm. Well, just Dazzle Gleam. Sludge Wave, alright. <coughs> well yeah, because of the light screen we survived. So good job, Duplin. Ha. Huh. And now light screen is gone. I mean, I'm expecting another sludge wave. But what if they don't? Is P.Ness safe here? 
can Kingdra learn a fire type attack? I'm gonna say Kingdra cannot learn a fire type. A dark type. Like, I don't think it can learn a move that's gonna hurt P. Ness. Uh, so let's just Phantom Force. Nice, okay. Good job on me. <coughs> because it's gonna vanish. She's gonna use Rock Slide. Then we hit. So we can see that, okay, they're gonna use Rock Slide. That is the move you're planning on using. Uh, I think we can sacrifice Zucaton here now. Um, uh, ba oh no, Zucaton is slower uh, than Duplin. So I mean, Zucaton effectively has 50 speed. And with the level of defenses that Zucaton has, it's not going to survive any attack. So just get hit by rock slide. And then... Do you know what? I actually feel Brandon here. I feel like Brandon can do good. You're gonna power a punch. Okay, so that's how Dragon Rush looks. Holy shit, they did a lot more than I thought. Then Stardust Punch. <coughs> Guess we want to hit first now. So no matter what she switches into, we're going for Stardust Punch. Unless it's Kingdra. Okay, it's Kingdra. Well then, we're not going for Stardust Punch. Or should we? We can go for Stardust Punch. No, no. We're going P. Ness here. There's no reason to sacrifice... Because maybe we'll need for whatever her last Pokemon is. Um, the Phantom Force. If it's a Garchomp, then... Okay, so no, it's Gyarados. Are you gonna have a Mega Gyarados? I mean, I don't think she's going to, because I think she, she hasn't earned the rights, I guess. No, she does have a Mega. What the fuck, Claire? Because I think, oh, Mold Breaker, it means, you know, they can hit, they can actually basically kill me with any po any attack. Doesn't need to use the super effective hit. Uh, but they're still gonna go for the super effective hit, I know that. Uh, so in this case, I think Duplin has done its job. I'm gonna throw you out. Now I think about it, this isn't the best. We're basically healing Gyarados here. Um, I think we're gonna heal Gyarados. Ah, uh, they're getting... Yeah. Uh, yeah, just Dazzle game. Brandon, you're up. As Brandon should get a good hit in here with Stardust Punch. And if she decides to try and go for a Dragon Dance, then that's a mistake. No, she went for Crunch. Alright. <coughs> oh god. I mean, I didn't really have any other clean switches, so... Um, hmm, what do I want to do here? Actually, this should be good. I don't know if the... No. Huh, okay, it's not very effective. So you're not... Okay, so you're Water Dragon. No, you're not Water Dragon. What are you? 
Normally, it's water dark. It can still be water dark. Yeah, what I'm talking about. Uh, steel isn't super effective against dark. I don't think. No, it isn't. And then P. Ness here. <coughs> I mean, I guess technically it could be dragon dark. Uh, yeah, just Fury Cutter. Actually, I should think Fury. No, what I'm talking about. I was like, oh, I think Fury Cutter is the best move. Because he's gonna kill the fastest. But, I mean, he doesn't have full HP, so I guess. I think just the sh Shadow Claw. Wait, what? Why did the second Fury Cutter did so little damage? Compared to the first one. Fury Cutter is supposed to get stronger every time you use it. <coughs> oh well. We won. I won't concede this. I might have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know you should take this Dragon Master Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. Alright. Your lazy ideals. Like, uh, fuck you, Claire. At least Whitney actually gave me uh, my Pokemon badge after I just, well, defeated her. I don't, I don't know if we destroyed her. Uh, but I do think Whitney probably would have been tougher for me if she actually was a normal type of trainer. <coughs> no, no, what I'm talking about, because I went in there with Heracross and Pinsir, right? Uh, I don't remember which gym was the toughest for me, because we've done all eight gyms now. Uh, let's look at the gym badges. A badge case. Um, I want to say uh, the fighting gym was probably the toughest, right? Pretty interesting that that tends to be the case. Oh no, we need surf. God damn it! Oh, I hate. I hate it. <coughs> well, let's store all of you then. The A team. You dealt with the gym leader. Now the D team is taking over. As the D team is the only team that can surf. Because of the weakest Pokemon on the team. going to give you guys some rare candies because I know we're gonna run into some trainers let's just put you guys up to level 50 that should be fine I don't think we need to go over you know the level we were uh, against Claire For some reason, I always forget Claire as the gym leader in Johto. Um, and I don't know why. Double edge. I think it's probably it's because of her name. Because I know that, like, oh yeah, there's that dragon type of leader that refuses to give you their badge. Um, uh, 
X scissor should have a high crit chance. Excuse me. Beedrelite, nothing left over, citrus, king's rock. And so honey, you're gonna get... Let's see, what items do I have? Like a white herb? Um, yeah, I just gave you a white herb. Why not? And we'll see. I think I'm gonna try and get this. This stream will be like an hour. I think. It's what I got. It's what I'm going for. The dragon's den. This is the thing that I need money for. This is my business. I'll give you 5% of it. For a hundred thousand dollars. Alright, you're not a dragon tamer. Who let you come in? Claire. So, you know what? Go get angry at her. She refused to give me my rightful... Okay. And you turn. So we're gonna mega and you turn. I'm gonna you turn into uh, if we're faster. I didn't think about that. Okay, yeah, good. We are. I mean, you're probably going for earthquake or like bulldoze or something. Sandstorm. Okay, I did not expect that. Just leech fang. <coughs> yeah, I mean that was not the smartest move. I mean maybe Sandstorm was only like he saw that oh it's a ground type move. So that is super effective. So let's me let me use that. Go, Slowpoke. Okay, so there's some whirlpools over there. I'm just exploring this. Okay. Can do nothing on the sides. This, this sacred place where bonds between Pokemon are tested. Wait, what? Wait, what is going on here? Okay, maybe I need to get over to the whirlpool. Hello. You shouldn't be in here. Yeah, the other guy said that too. Bertha. <coughs> Just mega evolve. And poison jab. I mean, if a U turn did that much to Flygon, I feel like a poison jab should kill a Dragonair. Yeah. Good job, Bunt. And you. Poison jab as well. You I don't think you will die. Yeah. How oh, about you wasted your turn? With a scary face.
Oh, she said she got defeated again. Huh. Okay, we've used Bay Drill a decent amount now. Let's switch out. I mean, Green Cat does not tend to get a lot of time to shine. She's gonna start off with the two tanks on the team. You two are... Oh, is this not a double battle? No, it is. Alright. It's just that they don't... No, it's not a double battle. Oh man, that's too bad. Alright. Well, Stealth Rock. Because <coughs> I think she had two Pokemon, right? And then just spike it up. Maybe that two, either two or four. Uh, I kind of wish, you know, over their name versus Dragonair, above there, if it showed how many Pokemon the trainer had. I guess I don't know, I'm not someone who pays attention. And I mean, this is a turn based game. Give me that information. I don't even know, do the new Pokemon games show that? I want to say no. Um, no, no, the new Pokemon games do show that, I think. Uh, you can show how many Pokemon the opponent has. Uh, but it isn't shown on this screen. And if you only had one Pokemon, then this was a waste. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, you guys had two. And a shell gone. So the exact same Pokemon as the one girl above. And they were probably like the same levels as well. Like double 48. I mean, it's a good thing you don't have any Pokemon with Levitate or a Flying type, because Fortress will not be able to hit them. What a disaster! I agree. All right. Slowpoke, go. Good job. Alright, this Max Elixir, that's good. And I think there's like a TM up here. Oh, uh, nope. There's another Pokeball. Or another item. Ah, oh, fuck. And I'm not even playing at, like... Increase speed. Uh, okay, a dragon fang. Increase boost the power of dragon type moves. And evolves Cedra into Kingdra. Uh, and I think it, it's only like you level it up while it holds it. I don't think you need to trade. I think it's just like a level up while holding the item. Kind of like King's Rock and Slowpoke into Slow King. Mm. Full Restore. Save. Hello, Elder Ryoken. My name is Ryoken, Master of the Dragon Clan, and one of the three wise elders of Johto. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? 
That girl is a handful. I see you're holding a keystone. I would like to test you. Not to worry, you are you are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? I would say friends. What helps you win battle? Strategy. We're not really doing training. Uh, what kind of trainer? What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Actually, anyone. Actually, strong. Ah, uh, you know, I think anyone. Um, I mean, I think knowledge, because knowing. I think love and knowledge are the two most important thing. Uh, but I think if you have knowledge, you know, you know, like ah. This is what I can feed this Pokemon. I shouldn't give that chocolate. But the Erythritol... Oh no, I guess not. The Xylitol to the dog. Uh, strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important? Both. Because uh, I think if you said like strong Pokemon, you fail the test. I think there's something like that. And why do you think it is that you haven't been approved, Claire? The Rising Badge. Rising from the pond to become a dragon. And now she's gonna go and pout. Uh, okay, and Bell Tower and Ho Ho. I hope we don't have to do that quest. I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. Dragon Tail. Okay. I don't know, I think I would have liked... Well, I was gonna say I would have liked Dragon Pulse more, but... I don't think I have any Pokemon. That, well, maybe... Um, uh, what's his name? Um... Oh god, Jesse had one of those. Uh, the the Dragonfly Pokemon. Oh hello, Professor M. Hello, Peach. How's it going? I heard you passed the test of the elders, and you got the Mega Evolution power. Congratulations for it. Listen, I've gotten hold of I've gotten hold of something neat for you. Swing by my lab and pick it up. See you later. Click. Alright. You know what? Let's do that. Ah, oh, not the badge case. What am I doing? Poke gear, meh. Professor Elm. You know what? Let's talk to our mom. Hello, mom. It's been a long time. Uh, okay. Dog, oh, it's good that I can count on you. Alright, Elm. What do you have for me? Hi, Peach. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Okay, we got the Master Ball. The Master Ball is the, be is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's a, it's given only to noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Peach. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful kimono girls looking for you. They said they're waiting for you at the Ecritique Dance Theater. Alright, are we finally gonna battle them? I think we're gonna battle them. Um, so which team are we gonna use? I mean, I would like to use the A team for this, because, you know, like, for that stuff, you know, the A team is the way to go, but, maybe we should have let, someone else throw let's go Let's see if the B team can do it. 
Because the A team, you know, they got the talent. Claire. And I'm sure I'm gonna have to use the D team a lot soon. Um, so, I mean, they don't have to worry. Wait, yeah, wait, no, no, let's use the C team. Yeah, because we haven't used the C team. Yeah, wait. Yeah, because, you know, since um, Pinsir got the Pinsir right, right? We haven't used them. So let's, let's use them. There we go. And I'm not gonna use it this live stream. Uh, because it's been an hour, well, 52 minutes. Uh, you know what, maybe. Uh, let's do one round of dealing with them. Let's see if I have the energy. I think level 51 should be fine, right? Guillotine. It's a one-hit KO move. Uh, no. Especially since we tend to be lower level than important trainers. Which means that Guillotine would fail all the time. Uh, because Guillotine is, you know... It's a one-hit KO move. And one hit KO moves only work if you're in the same level or higher. If they are a higher level than you, then it won't work. Alright, 51. And it should be, actually it should be fine, right? I don't think 51 is too high. Because the gym leader's strongest was 50... Three or fifty-four. Um, bug bus. All right. Uh, you know what? The things that you have. Good enough. You don't need bug bus. And I mean, we have bug type attacks. And what will you learn at level 50? Okay, you'll also learn infestation. No thanks. Very weird that they learn infestation. Oh, fuck. Oh well, Volvit, I'll let you be level 52. And you can also learn bug buzz. Hmm. I mean, against Dark Psychic? I mean, fighting is a good cover cover move for coverage, right? Because if, if we go up against it, well, if we go up against Dark types, then, you know, Bug Buzz is, ah, let's get rid of it. We'll let you have Bug Buzz. There we go. Yeah, critique dance theater. Save. And you know what? Let's start off with Samurai. Oh, hello, Apple. I can't believe it. How can I lose to them? Did you watch it? I never thought defeating five kimono girls would be so hard. Now I have to find another way to get the approval of that old man who gives the keystones to Mega Evolve. You must come here for the same reason, right? 
These Humongers are insanely strong, go ahead. See if you can defeat them. But I'm not going back, I don't want to see you win. Alright, well, I mean, he actually thinks I will win. Uh, so, that's how I take that. Hmm. Alright, let's go into it. Okay, let's quick save. No, let's quick save right here. So we're just one step ahead or behind. I met your previous Zuki. So I guess they have different names now. They're not just Kimono Girl. And I wonder if we're gonna fight all of them like at the same time or if it's gonna be like one after another. I hope it's just you have five Pokemon. Okay, two. Okay, wait. Okay, I guess maybe you're gonna have to fight 10 Pokemon then. Oh god, that's not good. And I forgot to give Samurai different moves. Because now Samurai, you know, when you Mega Evolve... Uh, samurai gets Aerial 8. But we have no moves that make use of Aerial 8. I mean, I know Pinsir can learn Quick Attack, I think. Yeah, because I know that it's like a competitive set with Mega Pinsir. Okay, maybe 51 was too high. As I can see, there's a level 50. Huh. I was expecting theirs would be like maybe 52, 53. It's what I was... Expecting. Um, yeah, they probably should have been level 52, 53. If the gym leader was level like 53, 54. Because you're fighting these after the 8th gym leader. I just Mega and Rock Tomb. We're doing. Okay, so. I assuming all of them are going to have a Noctowl and then the uh, what's it called evolution why a Noctowl I don't know Like, it would make sense if, you know, the Psychic Espion trainer had a Knocked Owl. Like, that, like, okay, that makes sense. And then Umbreon 1 had, like, a dark Pokemon along with Umbreon. But maybe they're like, you know what, we need a Knocked Owl. So that we can fly. Alright. Now we're doing the same thing. Mega Ball and Rock Tomb. I mean, when Pinsir gets knocked out then I guess it's going to be a bit tougher uh, because, you know, Pinsir is basically our ticket to easily defeat Noctowl because Noctowl would probably be a problem for anyone else for everyone else, Noctowl is a problem uh, so because of that, maybe we should keep Samurai alive uh, and instead, to deal with the Flareon... Hmm. We can throw you in, Illumis. Charm. 
Because, I don't know, would Samurai kill in one rock tomb? I'm gonna assume yes. Ah, well, not if we miss. If we miss, then the answer is no. So I actually think we will lose here. Maybe not versus this Flareon. Uh, but this is just number four. There's one or two more after this. <coughs> so go for Charm. Oh god, sunny day. Uh, we want to go for another Charm. Because basically sunny day made it so that our Charm does nothing. Uh, another charm. So as long as you don't have special attacks, we should be fine. And if you don't crit, of course. God, that wasn't even a crit. And you did that much. Alright, well, that's you turn. Because even though you're poisoned, you have some use, Illumise. Oh. Wait, we have fourth. What do we have left? We have Vaporeon and Jolteon left. But against Vaporeon and Jolteon, I think Mothem is the least useful. So rest in peace, Mothen. Oh, Mothen sur- Oh, no. Mothen died. No, Mothen did not die. Because it knocked itself out. And you don't take burn damage. So that was number three. We have two more. And I'm not worried about the evolutions. The evolutions... Probably gonna be easy. I'm afraid of this right here, the knockdown. And I just noticed that you also have uh, Premier Balls. So, good taste. Um, should we go for Wish? Yeah, let's Wish up. Uh, Illumi is gonna get knocked out, of course, but not Rain Dance. Okay, I guess you're just setting up. Hmm. So we U turn here. Yes. We U turn here. Into. Dust stocks, right? Or Volbeat. Huh. What is the smart move here? I don't know if this is a smart move, but we're going for Volbeat and we're gonna try and tail glow up. That is the plan. And the wish came true. Now we tail glow. And let's see how much with this hurricane. Oh god, hurricane. Was that the move you used? Oh god. Oh Jesus. And we got confused. Of course we got confused. Oh god. And uh, yeah, because of rain, you cannot miss hurricanes. So, bug bus. And hit yourself in confusion. Just do it. Okay, good. You didn't. Good job. Full beat. I mean, that still did no damage, but... At least... We got some damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
I think with the amount of HP you have left, Illumi's U-turn is... Oh, she switched. Okay, so this is the Jolteon trainer. Well, that's good. We got a free... Are you good here? I mean, as long as they don't have Pin Missile, you're good. So I'm gonna assume that they do not have Pin Missile. Why... Why would you have Pin Missile? This is four times effective, by the way. Well, it's a good thing you didn't do, you know, you have pretty bad attack. Uh, let's see. What item did you... Oh yeah, you have, we have Bright Powder on you. Uh, oh god. I meant to use another Quiver Dance. That is what I meant to use. Well, actually, good that I didn't. Because I don't think, even if we got another Quiver Dance, I don't think we would- I do not think we would be faster. We get Psychic. So actually, me misclicking- me misclicking there... ...was good. So you only have Vaporeon left, and... The Vaporeon one is the one out of the... Kanto evolutions is the one that I'm the least worried about. But I'm still worried about this Noctowl. Uh, yeah, you turn. Into Mothem, I think. Because right here, I can just sacrifice Mothem. Mothem survived. We got Mothem if you're faster. Well, it has Shadow Sneak, so I don't know. If Mothem was faster. I guess we can't see because, I mean, Juice was faster with 50 plus, 55 plus, let's say, 25, so with 80. So if you have more than 80, you're probably faster. Nope. Alright. Uh, another Illumis into Dostox? No, I think we go just Dostox immediately. And we go for the Quiver Dance. <clears throat> we have to be a bit lucky here. Um, not lucky in the sense that they will miss, because they're not going to miss, because they have Reyna. Uh, but... I mean, I guess we could potentially stall it out with Moonlight. Yeah, I think another Quiver Dance is the right thing to do. Because we're gonna get plus two before. So we're getting the defense boost before their attack. As long as we do not get confused, this is good. Uh, because now we can Moonlight. Well, as long as we don't get confused or critted. So, I mean... Oh god. Okay, nice. The rain stopped. So I'm expecting you to use Rain Dance here. That is what I'm expecting. Or maybe he's going for Hyper Voice. Uh, that could also be an option. No, he went for Rain Dance. Alright. Uh, 
And now we go for Toxic. Okay, let's see, 134. And this is the last trainer, so... Okay, that did nothing. 134 to 89. Do we go for another quiver dance? To hmm. I think when we go for another quiver dance just to be safe. Not against Noctowl. I'm not afraid of Noctowl. Um, it's against Vaporeon. Because I would like to stall out the rain. So that when Vaporeon comes in, there's no rain. Um Uh, and it probably doesn't have any hurricanes left. It's hurricane PP is, is done. It has no more hurricanes. Uh, so that's good. That is really good for us. And now our HP says 20. Alright. Well, I'll just quiver dance one more time. Plus four. And the rain stopped. Okay, yeah. And now... We're just gonna moonlight. Because, I mean, it's gonna shadow sneak, right? So even if we attack... The only thing it does, it, it leaves us at less HP. Because Toxic's gonna knock him out anyways. And I don't think we need any more boosts. So send in your Vaporeon. And get Toxic. And the good thing about Toxic is that I think in later generations, and I think also in this, is the fact that if a poison type uses Toxic, it has 100% accuracy. But if a non poison type uses Toxic, I think it has like 85 accuracy or something. I like that. That's like a good like boost for poison types. Especially since toxic like a surprisingly amount of Pokemon can learn toxic. Even though I do think they've reduced that a lot in the newer game. Like in Sword and Shield. I think a lot of Pokemon lost the ability to use toxic. Uh, yeah, the Kamono girls were defeated. Okay, the Rainbow Wing. Oh god, something is happening. In the bell tower. Uh, let's just use another super repel. Alright, yeah, the B team or the C team, don't remember which. You guys dealt with the kimono girls. Good job. It was very close. So, so being 51 was not over leveled. Um, I guess the next episode we're gonna start off with. Uh, what? The B team. Oh, God damn it. Wait, what is missing here? No, no, wait, no, no, there's a Pokemon missing. Okay, Volbeat, how, why, why did you go in there? 
<laughs> I was like, oh shit, did I accidentally delete one of my Pokemon? Uh, like, did I accidentally release it? And I think, oh. Oh, well, I had those. Here we can level 50. 51, I guess. Which is actually what I meant, so I don't know why I was like, oh shit, level 51. That's what I meant. Stone Edge. Uh, no thanks. You already have the perfect set. I think. Parish song? I mean, that is a really good move. Uh, to force switching, but... Uh, if I ever run into a situation and I'm like, you know what, Perish Song, well, then at least I know there is an option right there. I don't wanna... Oh, uh, well, I guess we can actually stand right in front of it. So that I remember. Because... If I don't do this, I don't think I'm gonna remember to go into the bell tower. I hope we don't have to do the whole... Catching Ho-Ho and Lugia and stuff before the Elite Four. Uh, because my only goal is to defeat the Elite Four and become champion. I don't care about saving the world, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye.